Whatever kind of day you're having, you know, if the, the skies are dark and you've had a rough day, you always know you can come back home, flick ITV on, and all this kind of optimism and vibrancy and sunny positivity will come into your life. You can just make it happen with the click of a remote. So this film is a metaphor for that, if you like. The brief to BBH was really um, make viewers feel that ITV1 is a special place, remind them why they love the channel. And I think what everyone said was they loved the fact that ITV1 was kind of unashamedly bright, fun, full of life, larger than life. That's why we said ITV1 is the brighter side. That's what it's all about. What we wanted to do is go back to the art of telling a story, which I think ITV is about. At their best, they tell really powerful stories. So we thought if we did that and we managed to tell a very simple story or capture an emotion that's kind of relevant to how people think about TV and ITV at their best. <laughs> story about a group of kids in a far Hebridean island who are the equivalent of bored teenagers at a bus stop and to them the sea is where they go every day. It's always boring and on this day I guess they're just kind of fed up with it. And as they go along on this journey they get more and more frustrated, more and more kind of down in the dumps until suddenly one of them gets so frustrated, he picks up a stone and throws it at the kind of huge grey mantle of cloud and through that he pierces a tiny little hole which brings down a beam of sunlight and literally brightens his day. The one thing that you can't control on a shoot is the weather and uh, that was the one thing that we needed to control, that was what the whole idea was about. Well, we're just going for lunch on the first day um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful sunny, dry, warm day. Um, the weather has bizarrely helped the performance because the kids are literally not acting, they really are feeling under the weather. It's a great start for the next couple of days. It was unbelievably cold, unbelievably miserable. I've never been so wet. And the second day was amazing sunshine, which we certainly didn't expect in January in the Mumbles. And we got a bit of everything. We got the rain for the front section, so it looked miserable. We got the sun for the back end, so we didn't have to light it. It was naturally lit and looks stunning. We were also working with children. We were working with penguins. We were on a kind of extreme location I and mean, it's all the things that you shouldn't do on a shoot that we that we all combined in one thing. And Rupert was just unbelievably calm and brilliant at being reactive to whatever happened out there weather-wise or what the kids or the animals would do. Kids are amazing I mean they just you know I think they got a bit miserable at times in, in the in the wet but they were natural, they, they had fun together, and I mean, they managed to do everything we asked them. We were quite lucky because the weather was good to us, it meant that uh, the sunshine shots were actually shot in the sun, the gloomy shot was shot in, in bad weather, but then obviously it was all about how we would isolate, really sort of contain shafts of light.
I think what we have here is a beautiful film. Um, it's warm, it's positive, it's optimistic, and it just makes you feel good. On the first cut, I cried because it was so good. Um, it was at the end of a very difficult week. It was Friday afternoon. We were quite a lot of people in a room, and it was uh, really quite extraordinarily emotional. You invest so much in something, and then you hope when you see it, it will be as good as you wanted it to be. And this is one of the only times when it really was.